Good afternoon, good evening or good night sports fans. This is Colonel Failure. You're watching the Electro Sports League back with Bulldozer Power uh, for game 15 of this, uh, the Electro Sports season. And uh, it's a very important game for Bulldozer Power because uh, uh, with a win here, uh, we can all but lock up our division. Uh, the Excavators being 7-7 seven and seven up against a Bulldozer Power team currently rocking 9-5. and five. Uh, a, uh, a win is all critical. Now it's Hicks Alpha who is up in the uh, in the rotation, but Hicks is not looking great. Uh, it has to be said, his, his uh, confidence is off, and uh, and as such, we might want to take him out. Puckeye is still incredibly wounded, but she had such a good game last week that I'm not going to drop her out. Uh, Sonny Watt, however, um, is also not looking good, and uh, and we're going to drop him in favour of I don't know what does he play second base. It's not like that's a critical position. Jemima Hurts. Uh, here we go, Jemima. You're in. Uh, congrats. I know I've only brought you in as a pinch hitter previously, and you've been terrible. So, uh, all the pressure on you. Uh, as mentioned, Hicks Alpha's stats not looking good, uh, but that's largely because his, uh, his temperament is slightly tense. Uh, but I'm going to put him in and see if we can't turn him around the same way we did with Black and Cout a couple of weeks ago. Uh, let's play ball! So after the bye week last week, we should hope to be uh, ready to put on a good performance against the Excavators uh, as we are now back at home uh, here in Colonial Plaza. And uh, that's going to take the, uh, the Excavators up to bat first uh, with GBM Vectra, uh, the first at bat, followed by Froth Jock and MSJN. Now batting, number 15, the center field. He's wearing very large sunglasses. Uh, Steve Morris there. He's ready for the catch. Uh, let's start off with uh, with just one of these. Oh, you, you threw that entirely the wrong way, and you're punished for it. Have a bit of a dive there. Let's get that a second. Okay, uh, first throw of the game, uh, not good. Now batting number 28, the first base. But that's okay. Plenty of time to turn this around. Plenty of time. All right, we'll try the same thing, uh, but this time we'll actually aim for the marker, shall we? Strike one! That's more like it. Hicks Alpha getting his face uh, into, uh, into business right there. Suckered you on that one. That's strike two. Uh, we'll go with the, the cutting fast ball. Not entirely sure what that is. It's one of those. Okay, and, uh, and we'll finish them off with a change-up. Well, finished. No, you don't throw two change-ups in a row. That falls absolutely nobody. Uh, let's take this one outside. Good pitch. Boom! Hicks Alpha with a strike out there. Beautiful work. Um, here comes MSJN. Uh, nice mullet. We'll try this cut fastball effort again. Oh, that's a terrible pitch. Clearly not gonna gonna put any effort in. No, you're gonna make a move. Kinda. Yep, think, thinking about it. Good. Well, we allowed the, the runner there to advance to third, which is far from ideal. Um, I think the week off has not necessarily helped the team here. Uh, but, uh, but it's still early. Strike one. We'll get the easy out there. That's two outs now. Now batting number 29. Base. Here's Mark Gryffindor. Uh, we'll see if he uh, if he should indeed be Gryffindor or if he's more of a Hufflepuff. Some uh, Harry Potter humour there uh, for those in the audience who like such things. And you're out, mate. No, do one. Get off my pitch. Uh, well, OK, we managed to salvage that innings. It could have gone horribly wrong for us, uh, but with only two hits, well, no, two hits bad, but with two hits, they didn't manage to get any runs. Uh, and at the same time, he managed to get through the batting order quite distinctly. His failure. He's been playing, uh, well, badly uh, of late. And that's that's not any better there. Could have left it. But no, he decided to swing at it. Here's Hookers. Uh, he's not been playing brilliantly lately either. Uh, but not quite as badly as failure. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just soak that one up. Whoa, gently. 
Booth. Oh, no, and he's uh, he's going to be out in exactly the same way as his comrade. Uh, it, it all falls down to Bam Bam now, and, and as a reminder, she's not well. Uh, she's got a broken wrist, I believe, at the current time. But she doesn't give her monkeys. She, uh, she fair belted that one. Uh, but, I mean, that was quite a big hit, and it didn't make the fence. That's strike two. This should be a ball. But it's not, and she saw it coming and swung at it accordingly. Uh, that one's gone slightly caught, and that's the side retired. Oh, well. Well, OK, uh, our standard poor first inning there, and uh, plenty of time to bounce back. Uh, uh, we're not under pressure at all at the current time. Uh, Hicks Alpha we, is uh, he's, uh, still on the mound. Uh, see, uh, see if he can have a better, better, better success this time. What are you doing, you crazy flipping second base stand-in? I know you're used to playing second flipping shortstop, but that was disgraceful. Now bad. number eight, the left fielder. Now I've heard that you shouldn't be too critical of your players while they're actually out there on the field. It uh, it can throw them off. What are you doing, bunting? Well, you're out, for starters. OK, well, I mean, that was a sacrifice there to get the uh, the runner to second. Number five, the catcher. Interesting choice. I'm not sure I would have bunted in that situation. I, I think that was legit, ref. I mean, I, I think uh, you need to be feeding your guide dog some more pedigree chum. Uh, that one's popped up. Anyone get underneath it? Anyone at all? Redeem yourself. Two outs. Now batting, number 21, the pitcher. Here's Mitch Decker. He's a pitcher. Uh, he's got verve and panache. Uh, but has he got batting skills? Good pitch. Strike one. Ball one. No. It's okay, though. Okay, and that's the side of the uh, Some pretty sh uh, sloppy, pitchy, pitchy... Pitchy sloppy there, and uh, we managed to come up with a with a result. But uh, you know, we'd like to see a little bit better performance from the uh, from the defensive side of the team, and uh, and from the offensive for that matter. I don't know what you're doing swinging at that pumpkin. That was obviously going high. Oh come on! Yeah, all right, you're out. Nothing inspirational happening so far. But here's Wilbur Carface. Uh, so often. The, uh, the man in whom we put a great deal of time and stock and what have you. Yeah, well, you hit the ball. That's a start, I suppose. We just seem to be swinging at everything at the moment. We've actually got someone on base, though. Not Carface's best there, but, uh, but it counts. Now, batting, number 29, the second baseman. now, I was saying that Jemima Hurts have been terrible this season, but she's batting 6 6 7. I might have mentioned that she's very tall. Ah, uh, because she is. Very tall, Jemima Hurts. Bosh. Oh, dear. Double play. Perfect. Good. Good, good, good. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, so, GBM Vectra back up to bat for his, uh, for his second go. Got a single last time. He must be feeling quite pleased with himself. Hmm. This is a little better. I mean, that's an easy catch there for Carface, providing he doesn't drop it. We assume nothing. We've yet to see one of our outfielders actually drop uh, an easy catch like that. But uh, were I to say such a thing, it would inevitably happen the very next time we needed to make a play. Terrible pitch. I swung at it anyway. So uh, I guess uh, terrible batting. That's a, that's a combination of uh, a pure fury and uh, and sass going on from the batter. Uh, who is this? This is Froth Jock. I mean, that's, that's a lot of attitude in one facial expression. And she's got a piece of that one. And Carface gets there. Grabs it, snags it out of the air. Get off with fields. And... Uh, MS Mullet is next up. What's he bringing to uh, to the field today? It was a steerike. 
And uh, Hicks Alpha, bit of the sniffles there. I'm sure he's certainly not doing anything untoward with the mucus that he has suddenly accumulated. Strike two. Oh, a nice dive, but uh, ultimately fruitless. And that gets the runner on to first. Now batting, number 14, the shortstop. Here's Roman Rocket. Last time he was here, he bunted. Uh, I don't know if he's going to do the same again. Uh, but evidently, from his batting average, that is kind of the sort of thing that he does regularly. Uh, but that's the side retired, so uh, it really doesn't matter, does it? Uh, so, bottom of the third inning now, and uh, and it's Steve Morrie hoping to turn things around for the uh, for the so far hapless bulldozer power team. Yeah, I thought that was a strike. Ball one. Call as a cucumber, Steve puts it away. Lovely job, Steve gets to first. Now, batting, number 30, the first base. now Lee, whose confidence is all over the place at the moment, so a base hit from him uh, would be an absolute right. dream. But that was strike one. That's, that's not good. Has it got the distance? Off the fence, Lee gets on base, everything's good. What are you doing running now? Steve? What did you do? What did you do, Steve? Well, Steve opted not to run there, which I'm a little bit uh, a little bit perplexed as to why that might be. Um, oh, dearie me. Uh, well, what could have been, uh, the base is loaded there, has turned into two men on base and one out. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. Potentially there, there was some incidental keyboard contact going on, which may have thrown us off a bit. There's failure swinging at the first pitch again. Man has no fear, and uh, currently no talent. Strike two. Yeah, well, I mean, keep lighting them up by all means, but uh, it'd be quite nice for you to get one away. He has got that away, but he hasn't got it away anywhere near far enough. And failure's uh, uh, hitless streak continues, and it falls to hookers to try and get something out of what has turned out to be a relatively promising inning so far. Well, that was that was a pitch, wasn't it? Late swing there, B Jack. Ball two, strike one. Bosh! That's away, and now the bases really are loaded, uh, which means that the uh, crowd can begin their chant of Bam Bam, Bam Bam. Uh, the lyrics are tricky, uh, but I'm sure if you pay attention for long enough, you'll get hold of them. Uh, if anything, it's a bit unreasonable putting so much pressure on her while she's wounded. Oh, no. I'd only half committed to kind of swinging at that one and uh, and paid the price as a result. Um, but Bam Bam could take the, the blame for that one entirely. Here's Mark Gryffindor. That's, uh, that's ball one there. We're going to keep them guessing with some of these pitches, I think. Yeah, ball two. Ooh. Mystery. Good pitch. He's got it away. Unfortunate. There's Carface. Chucks it to second. Man on base. Nuts. Now batting number 49, the right fielder. Hi, Janice. How's the family? Ooh, what a pitch. Uh, Hicks Alpha, meanwhile, is, is, uh, his confidence has started to grow a little, having, uh, having gone through a couple of innings now without uh, any major incidents. Uh, although, saying that, that's, a, that's at least a double. And yeah, he's rounded third. Go! Negative. And that's a run. Now batting, number eight, the left fielder. Okay, so the excavators get on the scoreboard first. Boo! That's popped up. Steve's underneath it. Here's Ben Turncoat. Uh, uh, 
He's uh, he's been around the game for uh, for many years as Ben. Uh, he's seen it all, uh, but yet to see uh, an all important pennant, and uh, and that's clearly something that uh, that he aspires to, as do we all. I mean, admittedly, you can buy one in the gift shop, but uh, that's not a kind of penalty. Oh no, it's a terrible pitch, and uh, and we are quite justly penalised for it. But we're going. No, nope, can't quite get there. Throw the ball and stuff. Well, that's disappointing. Number 21, the pitcher. With a face only his mother could love, it's Mitch Decker. Strike one. Uh, I hope this is keeping Hicks's confidence in the uh, in the zone here. No, he's he slipped back down to not being in the zone. Ball one. Good pitch. Strike two. Strike out here would be just what the doctor ordered. And actually would also be kind of the aim of the game. Terrible pitch. But it's good enough, and he's out. Now back, number 15, the center field. Here comes Vectra, and uh, we're going to see if he's uh, uh, up for uh, a hit this time. Oh dear. I'm not entirely sure he was aware that the uh, that the inning had started. Uh, he didn't even didn't even try for that one, and that's him out uh, on the side retired. But the damage is done. Two runs there for the excavators, and Bulldozer Power are going to have to make it happen now. Uh, Ninja Pumpkin needs something, something from Pumpkin uh, is uh, is what we're about here. And here's the pitch. Strug one. Almost took his kneecaps out, but his smile never dims. Gets it away. Oh, good bit of fielding. Has he got the legs? No, he hasn't. Get off my field. You bum. Uh, here comes Wilbur Carface. He's one for one today, but uh, we need some of that Carface swagger uh, to turn up and maybe get us a run here. Ambitious, maybe, but he gets on base again. Uh, put that one pretty much in the same place as he did in the uh, in the previous at bat. Number 29, the second baseman. It's Jemima Hurts. She's very tall, you know. Very tall, Jemima Hurts. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie me. Oh dear. Here comes Froth Jock again. Still looking pretty pretty flipping sinister, if you ask me. Uh, no, she makes me nervous. Ball one. Ah, must have been close, though. Right? Must have been close. That's well inside. inside. I wouldn't swing at that one. Let's, uh, let's chuck one up here and see what happens. Come on, Hixie boy. This is going all over the show, mate. And we, what we need here is uh, a halfway decent... Whoa, look at that. Negative. That's a foul. And that's a walk. Oh, no. Well, we very, very rarely walk anybody unless we've thrown the ball at them. And, uh, and frankly, in this case, it would have been better to just throw the wall at them. Um, uh, but, uh, but that's not going to make Hicks Alpha feel any better about his pitching prowess. That's strike one. Oh, my goodness. That one is headed for the Salida. And uh, and it's gone. Uh, it's decided to try and beat the traffic. It's going back to the car park early. And that's MSJN's uh, third home run of the season. Uh, taking the excavators to a four-run lead. And at the moment, it does not look like Bulldozer Power have got anything like the firepower to get back into this game. The pitching's not great. The fielding is not great. And the batting has not been great. Great catch! Oh my goodness! Ninja Pumpkin, what a play! Ah, uh, and that was that was the stuff. Maybe that was the turnaround moment that's going to shift the momentum in this one. Uh, we'll just have to see. In your face, Gryffindor. Figuratively speaking, we only tend to throw it actually at your face if you start playing well. And thus far, you have not. Yes, on base there. Maybe I was a little bit uh, a little bit overexcited vis-a-vis. Uh, uh, the uh, the great catch 
He's trying to steal a base, but that one went foul, so he's just going to have to walk back again. Yeah, it's your own time you're wasting, mate. Ball one. Ball two. That one's popped up quite nicely. Looks like Bam Bam's going to get to it. One would hope she would. And she does. So that's the second out. But we are not out of the woods yet. Here's Jesse Ball. Uh, he's terrible. Let's hope we don't give up something to a terrible batter. Thank you. Who wants it? Yeah. Good show. Right, that's the side retired. But that's another two runs in. Um... And despite the fact that this is a very low-hitting game so far, uh, here comes Steve Morrie. He got on base last time, unusually. Uh, but uh, he's batting 3-7-1. You can't complain about that. He's not getting on base this time, though. Here's Lee Hu. Uh, he's in a bad mood. He looks quite somber. Uh, I think uh, that maybe his cat threw up over his favourite jersey last night. Uh, certainly, that's the rumour around the locker room. Oh, yeah, well done, Lee. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely done it. That's us turned the corner there, man. Yeah, good job. Well done. Now batting, now batting not Hicks Alpha. We'll bring in a pinch hitter for Hicks Alpha. Uh, and that's going to be Sonny Watts. Uh, he may be wounded, um, but he has saved our bacon before. And given that he's on the sick list this week, I don't really mind if he doesn't pull this one out for us. There we go. He, got, he gets on base, look. Oh, and that just leaves it to failure to try and make something out of this. Like that's going to happen. Now batting, number 32, the right fielder. One of the alleged star players on the team. He hasn't had a hit in I don't know how long. And that hasn't changed now as he's out once again. Right, who should we bring in next? Uh, Tulip doesn't look good. Jeff doesn't look good. Uh, Sally doesn't look great. Uh, do we go... We're going conservative. Now, this is a lot of innings for Jeff to carry. Uh, he's done it before, but I wouldn't want to use him uh, for this many innings uh, unless I absolutely had to. Uh, so what we'll probably do is we'll, we might make another replacement, but largely it's going to depend on uh, how well he gets on. Starts out with a fastball that's hit for a foul. And because we want to get the fastball right, we're going to throw it again. Oh, OK. Oh, come on! Put the effort in! Missed, honestly, she is not putting the effort in on this team. Uh, it's no wonder that she rides the pine uh, it, as often as she does. Uh, here's Mitch Decker uh, with his uh, with his rugged good looks. Suckered you on that one. And that's an easy out. Uh, lovely job there from Jeff. Uh, he, he, he threw quite a lousy pitch, but somehow managed to convince the, uh, the batter that it wasn't lousy, that it was in fact just cunning. Just a smidge inside there. That one's been popped up. And Bam Bam is waving for it. She's got it. Efficient as ever. Jeff, conservative. Uh, he's running an austerity policy on the number of pitches he intends to make. Foul ball. Strike one. Strike two. Lovely work. And here's the Jeff Conservative tricky change-up. Bad throw. It's popped it up. Steve, come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Lovely job. That's the side retired. Uh, and uh, Jeff gets it done in that way that he so frequently does. Now, if there were a time for the team to turn the corner in this game, it is now. Here is Hooker's uh, win it at least, uh, let's say, a run this innings and uh, and Hookers kind of wants it has it got enough? Hookers merrily obliges by putting in the one run I asked for in this innings uh, the question is uh, was that uh, was that just 
kind of prophet, prophecy on my side uh, because uh, that's that's all we're going to get this inning. Here's Bam Bam. She wants the first pitch. She she wants to sit down again. Now batting, number 62, the third baseman. No criticism for Pumpkin after that outstanding uh, piece of uh, fielding earlier on. Uh, great diving catch. Of course, I will criticise him if he doesn't get a hit here. Oh, what was that? That was quite... It was moving at quite a pace, that one. He got it... Well, no, he didn't. No, no, no. Don't know. No, no, never mind. Here comes Carface. Now, he's uh, he's batting 1,000 today. I'd say 100%, personally. But apparently 1,000 is the thing. He's batting 1. 0. 0.000. That's not bad. Has he got the legs? He's safe. Uh, three for three, Wilbur Carface. Uh, and it leads to uh, Jemima. Oh, dearie me, Hurts, uh, who isn't in any way tall, because clearly that puts her off a stroke. And, uh, and with a bit of luck, she'll actually hit this one. She has hit it, but uh, she's going to get run out. And as the side retired. Well, we got the one run we were asking for. I think maybe I'll ask Santa Claus for something a little bit more next time. Now batting... Number 18, the third base. Is MSJN. I should stop making fun of his hair. He's having a hell of a game uh, with a home run and uh, and three hits in total. Bad pitch. Oh, Lee Hu there with the error. Uh, but he did stop that from going further than it otherwise might have done. So I can't be too critical of that. Uh, here's Roman Rocket. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do, to be honest. I mean, anything could happen on this one. He bunted first time around. I mean, you know, I don't know what the game plan is here. Uh, but it's it's certainly left me foxed. Bad pitch. Bam Bam not put the effort in. It's, uh, it's split the outfield. And they're going for the run. Should have used the cutoff, man. Didn't. And, uh, and we lose a run there uh, as a result. Uh, here's Gryffindor. Uh, someone else I should stop making fun of, given that he too has, uh, has racked up some hits today. Fielding unit in the wrong place, really. And they're going for the run as well. And they got it. Uh, now, this, this maybe is putting the game beyond reach uh, for Bulldozer Power, unless they can have one of those famous innings. Uh, that we have seen in this season so far, where they have just decimated the opposition. And uh, Jemima's calling for it. And it's just as well she caught it. She dropped that. She wouldn't just be riding the pine, she'd be sanding it with a face. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds like a good threat, though, doesn't it? Uh, strike one, and uh, it's uh, it's Jesse Ball up. He, he's not their best player at all. Uh, but Jeff is now rattled. Uh, Jeff is a very calm individual, um, so to see him rattled is is not good. Uh, let's uh, let's sling this one in here. Uh, no, that wasn't it. What we want is a is a swing and a miss here. A uh, strikeout here will put Jeff uh, back in the zone again for the next inning. There it is. Oh, I say the next inning. They've still got some more batters left to play with. That's how joyous it is. Uh, right, okay, so next it's, uh, it's Ben Turncoat again. Uh, he's, uh, he's locked in. Uh, I don't want to question the, uh, the policies of his nursing home uh, there, but clearly they let him out occasionally to come play ball with the other kids. Uh, and it's Steve Murray now up to bat. Uh, Steve's been okay so far today. Uh, it would be nice if he was more than okay now. I'd quite like seven runs this innings. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Bosh! Uh, Steve smacks that one up to centre field. Gets himself on base. Lovely job, Steve. Number 30, the awe-inspiring Lee Hu. No hits and an error for him so far today. But if that one's long enough, all is redeemed. Lee Hu with the homer there, uh, putting the team back on track. Uh, that takes the score now to uh, well, it's six. Six runs to three. And, uh, and Bulldozer Power uh, with no outs so far this inning. 
Um, they're, they're starting to uh, start to feel it, starting to do it. Uh, it's Jeff Conservative. He does look like Jeff Conservative. Uh, we don't mind if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't perform here, but we're going to soak up a couple of pitches either way. Yeah, he wasn't born yesterday. That's two and two. Full count, Jeff. Calm as a cucumber. Oh, Jeff with a big hit there. And he's actually going to stretch that for a double. Or he's going to give it a try. Run fast, Jeff. Uh, and there he is, Jeff. Uh, conservative. Pitching legend. Uh, striking a double there. And, uh, uh, and here comes failure. If there were a time for him to get his mojo back in gear, it was right now. Ball one. Boom! Failure gets on base at the ideal time in this game. Uh, runners now on first and third. And uh, and there has never been a better opportunity uh, to, to get back into this one. Uh, and the tension in the crowd, uh, you can feel it. It's palpable. It's Hookers. And Hookers has got a piece of that. How far is it going to go? Boom shakalaka. And that was the tying run right there. Uh, Hookers with his second of the day says, yes siree Bob, I'm keeping my place on the team. Failure can't help but applaud. Uh, Puckai comes in with a chest bump there. And, uh, and all of a sudden this home crowd are very excited indeed. Uh, they're sacking their pitcher, perhaps unsurprisingly, and it's Love Bozak coming in. I don't know Bozak well enough to know whether I love her or not, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. That's ball one. That's ball two. Uh, Bam Bam's going to get out there. Uh, no problem. It's okay. We've, told, we've already tied the game up. Uh, but this one is now on a knife edge uh, as Ninja Pumpkin comes up. He's over three today. And there's only a certain amount of time we can give him credit for that catch. At some point, he actually has to hit the thing. Well, I suppose that counts, but he is out again. Uh, and that's now two outs. Meanwhile, here comes Carface, and uh, and he's uh, he's got a little hip shimmy going on there. He's feeling good, perhaps justifiably so. He's uh, he's got that one a reasonable way up the field. Might be a bit ambitious going for two, but no, there he is, Carface with a double. Beautiful work, uh, loving every second of it. And here comes Jemima Hurts, and uh, and this is the end of the inning. Boom! Never mind. Well, they almost did what was asked of them. I asked for seven, we got five, and that is the game tied up as we enter the eighth inning uh, now. And uh, and it's really going to come down to whether Jeff can can make mincemeat of these fellas or not uh, to get us back at bat. And uh, uh, who we got here? This is Cal Crush, who's been brought in to replace, I don't know, someone. I wasn't really paying attention. Well, he, he hit that one, which which wasn't really what I was expecting. It wasn't a terrible pitch. Uh, I mean, it wasn't great. Here's Vectra, who is uh, is leaving. Oh, okay. And it's uh, Tyrone Luna. Um, eyes wide open. Who uh, is going to face the conservative. His eyes may be wide open, but he can't aim for Toffee. As that one goes foul. Oh, come on, Jeff. I don't know what was going on there. Uh, he was going to bunt. He didn't bunt. And they stole a the base. Cunning. Uh, those, are, those are buttons that I have absolutely no idea what they do. Uh, but we, we keep things simple here at Bulldozer Power. And that maybe is our undoing. Uh, but you're struck out, pal. So uh, get off my field as the Conservative takes uh, another one to the grave. And, uh, and we're now up against Froth Jock again. Strike one, nice pitch. Uh, Jeff in the zone, feeling good about it. He's throwing them all over the place, keeping them guessing. Uh, the occasional wild pitch there, uh, lighting things up. Uh, this one should go Bam Bam's way, she's not even looking. No one's looking. It's landed in between all three of them. Well done, you ruddy heroes. Uh, the shadow of the ball there 
uh, didn't tell us anything in the slightest and uh, and as such the uh, the fielders were just a smidge complacent and uh, and the game is no longer tied thanks very much I'm going to blame all of you uh, even you Bam Bam don't care that you're injured anymore that's not good enough Lee dives doesn't get it um, and uh, and now things are starting to look shaky as we've only got one out and we've got runners on first and third uh, here comes Roman Roquette once again um, and uh, and we really need Jeff to, to pull all of his magic out of his sock drawer at this point. He hasn't, and that's going to be another run. Still two on base. Uh, and uh, and this, this is a bad time for a, for a bulldozer power collapse. Jeff's stamina is looking pretty shaky. Uh, his pitching's looking pretty shaky. We'll give him one more at bat here and see what we get. Uh, if uh, if he manages to uh, to do some magic here, we'll try and keep him in. I don't like changing out pitchers mid inning. And that's a catch. Uh, okay, well that's something. Still got one more to go. One more to go uh, to to salvage this uh, this inning and keep us in contention. But frankly, I don't think uh, I don't think this is looking good at the current time. And as such, I should make a substitution. Uh, right, okay, so uh, so we're not going to chance it with Jeff. Sorry, Jeff, uh, you did a decent job. Uh, let's see who we've got on the bench who's not uh, terrible. It's Feetum. I know, unexpected, but bringing out a starting pitcher as a reliever is uh, is an unconventional move to make. And uh, uh, if ever there was a time for the strikeout master to make his return, it was now. There's his warm-up pitch. Not a problem. There you go. Strike one, ball one. Ball two. Forks it. That's another foul. All or nothing there, Phaeton. No pressure. All the pressure. Every single bit of the pressure. And that's good enough to retire the side. Uh, it, it wasn't pretty pitching, uh, but it did uh, achieve the result that we were after. Uh, no further damage done, uh, but now Bulldozer Power are, are, are behind by two, and they're going to want to get back into it. Now, Steve's had a reasonable day so far. Uh, they're making a change. Um, they are, uh, they're taking out Imogen Escargo. Uh, I know they're, they're bringing on, beg your pardon, uh, Escargo in place of Luna quite what difference they expect that to make I don't know Steve goes for a he's out now batting, number 30, the first baseman. is Lee who he did have a home run last time which means he's probably not going to do anything for us now uh, but the least he can do is soak up a pitch or two actually the least he can do is is not do anything positive at all uh, okay, well, he, he made connection there. That's that's clearly a ball. Two and two is the count. Oh, beautiful work from Lee, who's splitting the defence. Uh, he gets on base, exactly what the doctor ordered. Uh, assuming the doctor is uh, is on our baseball team. His feet, and we're not going to sub him, uh, which is possibly uh, dangerous. But he has uh, he has had hits this season. Oh, come off it! Well, he's popped that one up. I don't think he's going to get everybody out, but he's uh, he's certainly done enough to get himself out. Uh, feet him there, trying to win the game for the team. Got to uh, got to admire the uh, the spirit. Now batting, number 32, the right field. And if ever there were a time for failure to once again remember that he's supposed to hit the ball, it is now. Uh, just a just a smidge late there. Yeah, checked it, didn't wreck it. That one's uh, that one's gone uh, to uh, knock someone unconscious. Maybe that's that small girl. Well, he's uh, he's swinging away his failure, and uh, he's going to get out off that one. Nowhere near enough distance on it. And as the side retired, uh, Bulldozer are still trailing by two as we go into the ninth, and we're going to have to hope that uh, that Feetum can do the business here and uh, get the job done as uh, as Lorenzo Robinson comes in in place of I don't know someone, uh, one of the excavators, one would imagine. 
Strike one, Featon looking sharp, feeling good. Uh, he certainly fits those trousers. That one's gone foul, strike two. And that one's gone foul as well. Come on, Featon, get him out. Well, okay, you blocked it, um, but it, it, again, not pretty. Um, uh, the pumpkin there, though, showing an eye uh, for defence. Here's Barbara Butcher, and from her stance there, I'm not entirely sure she's certain of where the ball's coming from. Um, is this a whole new team we're facing now? These are some names that I've not come across in previous innings. Either that or I've not been paying attention due to uh, some pithy commentary. Boom! The double play! A uh, very nice piece of work there, and uh, and that's exactly the kind of thing we needed uh, in order to uh, in order to save our bacon. Oh, that one looks like it's going quite a long way. Failure's gone back for it, but uh, no, that one's in the bike sheds, extending their lead by another run. That could have been so much worse had we not just landed a double play there. Nine to six now, and uh, and it's Imogen Escargo who I. Uh, I don't know what she's made of, to be honest. This is going to be her... Well, I don't know if she's had at-bats so far this season. But uh, she hasn't hit anything, that's for sure. Strike one. She's keen, though. I'll give her that. Featham's throwing everything he can uh, to, to make the, uh, make the play here. Strike two. Beautiful. Right in the corner, just exactly where it couldn't be hit. Uh, very tough to gauge that one. And here comes the football. Oh, that's a ball. Oh, no. Just just a little wide. And there's a curve. Come on in. Get off. Featham finishes them off with a, uh, with a strike out there. And now everything to do. Uh, bottom of the ninth. Trailing by three. Bulldozer power. Now it's uh, B-Jack Hooker's coming up. I want four runs here, team. Uh, I will settle for three. Anything less than that. Don't just swing at everything. Anything less than that will not suffice. Strike two. Pressure now on for Hooker's. Oh, dearie me. Hookers is out. Uh, could have been... Well, I don't know. It could have been better, I think. Possibly. Now, Bam Bam. Uh, she has been known to turn it around even when she is injured, uh, as she did last time around. Um, but, uh, but we're starting to clutch at straws now. Yep. And that's a, a fine snag by the third baseman. And that's two outs. And uh, it all falls to Ninja Pumpkin. Uh, whose salary rests on him getting a hit here. That doesn't count. Strike one, ball one. Strike two. Not good enough, and that's uh, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, very disappointing for Bulldozer Power after a tremendous rally. Uh, they didn't manage to uh, to pull this one together. Uh, in fact, if anything, they fell apart. Uh, one bright spark of an inning among many innings that were not bright or sparky at all. Uh, the team didn't really wake up uh, until very late in the game. And then they really couldn't turn it around. A uh, fairly consistent play from the excavators, however, ensured them the win. And uh, and that's going to make a massive difference to the uh, the complexity of the division. So for some reason it's conservative that's given the loss. Uh, that's uh, that's most unfortunate for him, uh, despite the fact that Hicks Alpha gave up a home run there. Yeah, well, but you know what can you do? Earned run average of 10.9. Come on, man. So the three stars of the day. Hookers is the uh, is the main star, which I think is a is a little odd. Uh, and yes, he uh, he did get four uh, runs batted in uh, but uh, MSJM was was flawless today two runs batted in two and a home run and uh, there you go uh, cow crush uh, row rounding out the oh I don't care so we've got 11 games to play uh, and uh, let's push the button and play them uh, it's the Pirates versus the Swingers uh, this one's getting pretty close as it heads towards the ninth uh, but it is the Pirates who've taken it uh, overall, the champions there against the Fruit Bats. Champions off to a bright start, but the Fruit Bats are a very strong team. No, the champions win that one. Uh, Raptors against the Nomads, even all the way into the ninth, and the Nomads win it in the final inning. 
uh, Dodgers versus the Explosives and uh, the Explosives win there. The Excavators versus the Monty Express who, who managed to win there. Excavators not capitalized. That's a win for the Leprechauns. If I could slow this down, I really would. Uh, Brown Sox with an 8-0 win. What's that all about? Uh, the Raptors versus the Aardvarks and the Aardvarks put up a monster 17-5 victory uh, as the Dodgers versus the Ocelots and, uh, and the Ocelots uh, take an unusual loss there. Uh, Fruit Bats again against the Champions. Champions with another win. And here's the Leprechauns against the Swingers. Uh, and uh, uh, despite a three-run rally at the end there, the Leprechauns come away with it. Uh, well, a complicated complicated uh, series of results there. The smoothing division still remain the uh, the division to be a part of, if you like winning, uh, as the Leprechauns are now 12-5 and five with the strongest record in the entire eSports league, uh, with Monty Express and Aardvarks both on 10-5. and five. Uh, Sorry, Aardvarks are 10-6. Uh, how can that be? I've got the Aardvarks next. Uh, they got, like, just, they're playing too many games, I think the problem is there. Uh, the Ocelots lead the tree, the tree Gun Division ahead by three games, uh, with the Champions now two games out in the lead of the Bombastic Division. Uh, Bulldozer Power are now only one game ahead. Uh, they do have a game in hand, and, uh, and I believe that's against the Aardvarks, although I must be mistaken. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look. It's against the Aardvarks. Uh, the Aardvarks are a particularly strong team, and uh, and this is going to be a must-win as all these games are rapidly turning into being for Bulldozer of Power. I hope to see you there, uh, where we will be taking on the likes of uh, Burnside, Lobster, Handspringer, and Fleshman. Uh, names to conjure with right there. Feetum is up on the mound. It's going to be a belter of a game. Uh, subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. And fling a like at this one if you are as bitterly disappointed as I am with today's result. Thanks for watching. Mmm, cheerio.